Hey y'all, Tracy Davis with Davis Homestead. Just a quick update to let y'all know. Um, my husband Chris, yes, he's only took two days off from work. He's back on the big rig. Um, the truck was totaled. He was going around a curve and there was an oncoming car that was riding the middle of the yellow line and obviously in a big rig you need room especially when you were hauling a big log load of pipe well he tried to move over because he kept flashing his headlights because it was still dark it was early in the morning um, going around a curve like I said the yellow the car was riding the middle of the yellow line going around that curve uh, Chris was flashing his headlights honking his horn you know pulling the thingy they weren't paying attention um, he didn't know what was going on so he uh, tried to move over a little bit and you know big rigs and the curve there was no guardrail no nothing um, I was looking at the pictures and the, he um, once the back tires on one set of the back tires on the trailer hit the soft ground it just laid it over and the truck laid on its side and went skidding down the road so the truck is totaled um, he's already had the pee test, um, the sheriff and the state trooper and all them, and the fire department and all them that showed up, did their investigation, everything, checked out to what my husband had said, didn't give him any citations, nothing. Um, basically, all he did was fill out a, a witness report. Um, he knows they're not going to get the car because the car kept on going. But, God said, not today, so he was saved. I looked at the pictures of the wreck and the truck and everything, and I'm like, surprised. But, um, he's alive, and actually he only took the two days off. He's still having a hard time moving, but he went back this morning. They gave him a different truck to drive, um, and he doesn't know how he's going to throw his straps over to secure his load, but, and he'll be back sometime tomorrow night, because he has to go somewhere on the from one border of Texas to the other and then he has to go to Houston and then take it somewhere else and then come all the way back so obviously he's on another overnighter but he's back um, and while he was here for two days I was just running around doing my normal thing I got the goat shelter built so Saturday we're gonna go pick up um, the new goats that I had purchased a couple months ago well I didn't purchase I'm an ED trauma nurse and um, since we've been here on the ranch I'm not working because although everything's all my certs are kept up because I'm trying to get we bought raw land so putting in driveway digging ponds putting up fencing and getting animals and coops and barns and all that stuff built and it's just me because he's on the road so <laughs> I'm working on, I got the new goat shelter built yesterday, I'm going to move the other goat shelter over to the new area, um, make it with that one so that there's two shelters, plenty of room for all the goats, and not that they use them anyway, and um, so Saturday we'll go get the new goat shelter, um, and what I do is, I'm working on the ranch here until we get everything straight like we want it, and then while I'm doing this, for like two, one or two hours a day, maybe once every month or so, I'll go down in town and feed some of these other ranches. Um, one of them is a 2,000 acre ranch. Um, they're usually like 10 acres or more. And um, like at Wileasta Ranch, I fed the goats, the horses, and then the cows, the dogs, the cats, and all that stuff. And what I do is instead of getting paid, I mean, they offer to pay me, yeah, but. I'll walk around their ranch and see if there's anything they're not using or they don't want. Well, they had a thousand ga gallon water tank they want off the property, so I bartered um, nine days of feeding animals for, I got six goats, adults, which is does, which is perfect, uh, well, one buck to add to ours. So I got six goats and four of them are already pregnant again so that's perfect but we're going to pick all those up Saturday I got the thousand gallon water tank I got a two horse bumper pull trailer
I got a round bale of hay, and I cannot remember what else. There was something else. But anyway. Um, and yeah, I'll take money sometimes. And yeah, we need a dresser over there. Anyway, um, I'll take money uh, unless I've got something I can barter for. And then I'll just barter. But um, we have our bank account finally set up for our ranch, Davis Homestead, so that now all the products that I've been making like crazy the last two weeks, um, renting a shop in town, a booth in town, is like a hundred bucks a month. And i um, gonna be putting our products there. I'm just waiting on our business cards and labels for the products. And um, we should be good to go. But I know we got a lot of stuff going on. Um, like I said, digging the sock pond, putting up fencing, um, trying to get the horses straight, the goats straight, the chickens and ducks and turkeys and guineas and rabbits and the dogs and the cats. <laughs> but it's hard because it's just me, but we're doing the best we can. Uh, we've been here going on two years and I know with both of us it would have been, a, we'd be a lot further along. Um, we're doing solar, so I'm sorry if you hear that noise I'm charging up my cell phone at the same time and um, the solar's going right now um, building raised garden beds because I've got we've finally cleared the one acre section and that is all garden and I'm making raised garden boxes I only have like maybe eight nine built right now and I've got an acre section so I got a lot to build and what I'm doing is I've got a um, lattice work fencing to go all the way around to keep out the horses and the goats and hopefully the dogs and the chickens and all that if they escape their areas because they've already escaped before I finished the fencing and ruined the whole garden area so um, that's what's going on now he's fine I know I said I'd give you an update um, he'll be back tomorrow night sometime, probably about 10, 11, but he's back to work today, and I've been, I know it's driving him nuts because me hauling water and building stuff while he's sitting there because he can't move watching me do it all. He's like, what are you, this is my normal, I'm just pretending you're not here. I do this all the time, believe it or not. <laughs> so, I'm going to sign off here. I'm um, working on crocheting some scarves, get those done so I can hang those up in the shop along with the dishcloths and the hand towels. I've got all my tinctures to do and I've got laundry soaps and stuff made and I'm working at it. I'm going as fast as I can. I don't feel like I'm going fast enough, but and all this in order so that he can either pull the brakes on the truck or I told him definitely right now our money makers are the goats. And then it will be the pigs and then the horses. But right now our moneymaker is the goats. So by May, we'll be okay. We'll, we'll be fine by May. Definitely by September, he will be able to go part-time instead of busting his butt. I can't. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this straight. Um, Full-time. So, I think that's all I was going to say. I don't know. Um... Like I said, this is our new channel. It branches off the old one. I can't get into the old one. But um, I try and do updates as often as I can. If y'all have any questions, we do have, it's all little letters, davishomestead16 at gmail.com. If y'all ever have any questions or... Um, and then we also have our Facebook page, Davis Homestead, where we've got a shop there and um, we have knife sharpening services and all that stuff. So I'm going to start uploading pics of all the goats and the horses and the animals so that um, when we have eggs and fertile eggs and um, um, chicks and um, the babies, everybody can see and can purchase those also. Um, so eventually I will start uploading pics of all our animals and um, doing videos on um, how I make our products and, and stuff like that. So, Because I also have mini loaf breads and like no big cookies and I'll have, um, I have jam already that I've made. And also um, 
apple butter and stuff like that. So, but we will keep you updated and um, y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.